Good morning, everybody. Today, as I woke up, I received a note from our in charge of social communication here in the Salesians of Donbasa, Philippines, North Province, Father Donny Duchinduya, who reminded us that today is the memorial of Blessed Seferino Namongkura, August 26. And you see him, uh, the picture of uh, Blessed Seferino there on your screen. Now, this reminds me of something that uh, I have written about uh, 13 years ago. And uh, when I was principal of uh, the high school department here in Don Bosco Handubang, I was uh, writing a weekly newspaper to our faculty members. And the uh, one issue was on November 15, 2007, and it's a special issue. The name of the uh, weekly newsletter I was writing was uh, La Lumiere. And here I featured for that special issue, Blessed Zephyrin Namungpura. So you, I have compiled them here and uh, here is the newsletter. And I have uh, put here several uh, news articles both from the Salesian website, and then I also gave my message. And in this issue, I also introduced to them who Blessed Seferino Namangkura was. But why was it special? Why on November 15, 2007? Because it was at around that time when Seferino Namangkura was beatified. Uh, just a short biography. Uh, Blessed Seferino Namungkura was born in 1886 and died in 1905. And the, the beginning of the process for his beatification was in 1944. And he was declared venerable in 1972. And on uh, November 11, 2007, he was declared blessed. He was beatified. A very significant date why November 11 was the sending off of missionaries in uh, 1875 by Don Bosso himself. So it's a special day for the congregation and so the beatification uh, fell on that day. Just uh, something about Blessed uh, Seferino. So he was born on August 26, 1886. So beautiful. They placed his memorial on the day of his birth. And where is that? He was born in Chimpay, on the banks of Rio Negro, that's in uh, Argentina. And his father, Manuel, the last great leader of the Araucano Indians, Indian tribe, had surrendered three years earlier to troops from the Argentine Republic. Manuel Namuncura sent Seferino, after he had wandered free on the Pampas for 11 years, to study in Buenos Aires. So one day he could defend his own people better. The family spirit in the Salesian school brought him to love Don Bosco. Now, the spiritual dimension of life grew in him, and he began to yearn to become a Salesian priest to evangelize his people. And he chose Dominic Savio as a model. And over a period of five years, by his efforts to adapt a totally new culture, he himself became another Dominic Savio. He was exemplary for his piety, charity, in his daily duty, and for his self-sacrifice. Now this boy, who had found it so difficult to get in line or to obey, to obey the bell because of his background, little by little became a true model. As Don Bosso would have wished, he was exact in his fulfillment of his duties of study and prayer. He was a referee at recreation. In any dispute, his word was accepted. The care with which he made the sign of the cross was striking. How he thought about each word. He encouraged his friends with this example, teaching them to make it slowly and with devotion. In 1903, at that time he was 16 and a half years old, his father was baptized and at uh, that time, the father was already about 80. Bishop Caliero accepted Zeferin or Seferino as an aspirant at Viedma, the center for the Vicariate Apostolic, to begin his Latin studies. 
Because of his poor health, the Salesian bishop decided to take him to Italy so he could follow up his studies seriously and in a more appropriate atmosphere. In Italy, he, made, he met Don Rua, Blessed Michael Rua now, and the Pope Pius X. A few days ago, we celebrated the feast of uh, the memorial of St. Pope Pius X. And these two, they warmly gave him his blessing. At that time, uh, Don Rua, Blessed Michael Rua, was the rector major of the Salesian Society, the successor of Don Bosco, because Don Bosco had already died in 1888. Now anyway, he went to school in Turin and then to the Salesian College in Villa Sora in Frascati. I remember that uh, when the first time that I was in Rome, that was in uh, 2001, one of the places we visited as a community was Frascati. And it was there that Zephyrin lived his uh, last days of life. Anyway, that was in, uh, in the province of Rome. And he studied so hard, he was second in the class. However, an illness got not diagnosed in time, perhaps because he did not complain about it, became life-threatening, and that was tuberculosis. And on the 28th of March, 1905, he was taken to the Frate, Frate Bene Fratelli Hospital, run by the Hospitallers of St. John of God on the uh, Tiber Island in Rome. So you'd see there a hospital. In one of the rooms there, that was where Blessed Seferino died. He died peacefully on 11th May in 1905. And from 1924 onwards, his mortal remains were laid to rest in his own village at 14 Mercedes, where crowds of pilgrims come to visit. So it's a blessed day, especially for Bosconians. Why? Because Blessed Seferino was a Bosconian, a student of the Salesians. I'd like to refer to some words that I wrote there in my uh, newsletter. I entitled it Big News. And I was recalling then a play that I had written in 1996. And the title of the play was, uh, it's a musical, Bury Me Deep, based on the biography written by Peter Lapin. And I wrote the uh, script and the lyrics, and the one who wrote the music was uh, then Brother Joel Gamad, his now attorney Joel Gamad. Uh, he was then a, a post-novice, and we worked together to do the play. And in the play, the one who played the role of uh, Bishop John Calier was Brother Jerry Martin. And uh, the role of uh, Zephyrin Namunkura is uh, Michael Carlos. And um, years later, it, it was a play directed then by, uh, I think uh, a few years ago, Brother Nathan Petate directed the play as an academia or one of the musicals that we staged here in Don Bosco College. Because years before also, he played Zephyrin Namukura in the same play. So there were already three uh, editions of the play. And uh, I hoped in the future that this will once again be um, put on stage. But uh, just to remind us that, yeah, that was the beatification of Zephyrin Namukura in 2007 was a big news for all of us. And I ended my article in this way. Yes, it is big news, a big deal whenever we succeed in bringing out the best in our young people. The Salesians, especially uh, Cardinal Caliero, or that time Bishop John Caliero, was able to bring out the best in this young man, uh, Zephyrin Namunkura. And so, my dear Salesian educators, you are the vanguard at the forefront of this undertaking. Let us make more Zephyrins among our Busconians in our time, even online. God bless you all and have a great day.